to Winona I Love You, my show where I tell you all my favorite parts about Winona so that you might love Winona too. We're here with my friends Trish and Willow and Paul and Nico and Zeus. Hi everyone. <laughs> hey. Hi, Hi. Welcome to Man 2. Oh, thank you. That was actually going to be my first question is, where are we? <laughs> right now you're inside of a beautiful old building on the corner of 5th Street and Ewing. And it, for many years, was known as the Winona Yoga Center. And um, about three years ago, we moved from a downtown location um, on 3rd Street to this beautiful corner um, space where we uh, relocated Manitou. And so um, inside of our building, what you can see now behind us is a lot of props for the classes that we have for yoga and for um, our martial arts classes, Kung Fu and Tai Chi and Qigong. Yeah. And there's some meditation cushions, some of the things we're sitting on for our mindfulness and meditation classes and workshops and trainings that we have. And then there's some space back there that we utilize to have things like our potluck dinners and to cook food for the classes that we have. Potlucks? Yeah. <laughs> we love to have good food and good tea. Me too. I love food. And tea. <laughs> what kind of food do you like? Mostly fish. Oh, okay. It's good to know. I like all kinds of things. And how are you liking your tea so far? Oh, I'm loving it. I love tea. Especially on a chilly day like this, it's nice to have some warm tea. Mm -hmm. But we always like to welcome people to Manitou with things like tea or just a nice snack to have as a way to gather together and get to know people. We always feel like food and tea are wonderful ways to connect with um, our friends and our families and our communities when they come to Manitou. That's great. So we're so glad you're here. Oh, me too. Manitou is so much more than inside these walls. And so a lot of our partnerships um, some of them take place inside of this beautiful building that we're so fortunate to be in, but a lot of our um, work and partnerships that we do around our beautiful community of Winona and um, surrounding areas take place in places like the Winona Public Library, the East Rec Center, mm -hmm. parks. Paul teaches almost all of his <coughs> martial arts classes, yeah. both children and adults. Um, at the levee and some of the other beautiful parks in Winona and has since our inception about seven years ago and so for about six months of the year the those classes are outdoor. I think we saw you fly by before. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean I fly by all the time so you probably did. <laughs> yeah. yeah right down by the by the river right? Well, yeah exactly. We saw when we were at Prairie Island and I know you just interviewed Jamie Shell and the I beautiful did, yes. campground down there we did um, part of our Camp Manitou with children down at Prairie Island, and I think you might have been over across the store. I probably was. Yeah, I saw a lot of kids running around there all summer, and I, it looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, you mentioned that you kind of do programs all over town. Can you tell me about some of those programs? Sure. Um, it's been wonderful. We've had the opportunity to work for a whole year in Riverway Learning Community. Um, we've worked with the Winona Public School District, um, their staff, as well as um, several hundred students. We've worked with Bluffview and Ridgeway, a little bit inside of Cotter. And we're really thankful that we've had the opportunity to work with all of these um, age age groups between kindergarten all the way to graduation, mm -hmm. helping to teach something um, called mindfulness, which is a particular way of um, paying attention to what, what you're feeling inside and, and so that you can um, <clears throat> make good choices and uh, also slow down and enjoy your life a little bit more. It's like I always think it's, you know, learning um, the practices of mindfulness or it's kind of adding to a set of tools that you can use throughout your life that can help you if you're feeling um, kind of particularly those big emotions, the, the emotions like um, feeling sad about something or nervous or worried or stressed. And a lot of it, in fact all of it, is accessible to all of us right here. Right? Yeah. yeah, and it sounds like those are all skills that 
they might not usually teach in schools, but they're, they seem so helpful to students and teachers alike to learn those skills, and especially in the school environment. Yeah. Well, and I think one of the things that, that Manitou really tries to do in everything that we end up doing, all the different programming that comes forward, is provide an environment for people to come into, and birds, <laughs> that ends up feeling, yeah, that ends up feeling safe and welcoming. You can end up being who you are to end up coming in and cultivate practices that end up um, really nourishing body, mind, and spirit. So we have movement arts like yoga and qigong, kung fu, martial arts kind of practices like Trish had mentioned. We have a Zen group that ends up meeting here as well as mindfulness-based meditation. Um, that both end up providing that kind of pathway for folks as well. So it's, there's, there's many different spokes in many ways. It looks kind of like a big wheel where there's many different pathways to end up doing this kind of personal human development, really. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Is it only people who devote their lives to these arts, sort of masters of, of these practices, or is everybody welcome? Oh, everybody's welcome by all means, yeah. So. And you are you are welcome here anytime you want to, and hope we hope that you always feel that sense of warmth that you talked about. One of the things that made me feel um, successful yesterday at one of the yoga classes that I was teaching was someone who'd never. Um, I think she had taken yoga a few times, and she said she often gets a, feels a sense of anxiety when she does something mm -hmm. that's new to her, and. Um, she said that during the time that she was inside of the space for the class that she felt totally welcome, comfortable, and that she didn't feel like a sense of like she didn't belong here because she had never taken a yoga class or had only taken one 10 years ago. So I think that one of the biggest goals um, that I personally have about Manitou is to help people understand that we all have these these spokes these, mm -hmm. that Paul talked about as far as, um, and they look different. So we, we like to offer diverse opportunities here for people to um, really do their own unique self-exploration mm -hmm. that people who maybe are brand new could um, find interesting and people who've maybe been trying these kinds of things for a year or many, many years, that there's something interesting for all um, all kinds of people here. It's amazing. Yeah. So a lot of these things that we're doing at Manitou are actually quite simple. Um, but we're just taking time to um, either learn about them or taking time to learn how we can use them to take care of ourselves. It's really about giving people access to tools, or tools you already have really in many ways, to learn how to be present. Just show up. There you are. So when you're angry, what do you end up doing? There's any number of choices that end up being in front of you, but how do you choose one that ends up working for you and the community that you happen to land in? And you mentioned the community, and it really sounds like Manitou isn't just a building. Manitou is so much bigger than that. It's, it's all over Winona. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, the word Manitou, you know, comes from the Algonquin language family and is uh, Anishinaabe or an Ojibwe-based word that ends up referring to a kind of energy, like a, a life energy almost, like a spirit that ends up permeating everything around us. So our name we took on honoring that. Wow. Honoring that kind of tradition across, you know, Minnesota that indigenous view of being able to see this energy that ends up connecting us all inside of that tapestry. So really celebrating that and living that forward in the things that we end up doing in Manitou. Wow. Yeah, that it sounds like it fits. It's mm. fits really well. Yeah. You know, and that other piece ends up being that it lands really close to home as well. My family uh, comes from a, a mixed background, but uh, we have Ojibwe tradition inside of our family as well. So it's an honor. It's honoring a piece of myself while it's also honoring a piece of my community and connecting us all together in that individual and shared kind of way. That's yeah. too cool. Wow. Thank you for sharing that, Paul. Oh, for sure. You're very welcome. Yeah. So. Nico and Willow, tell me, do you have a favorite part about Winona? Um, I just kind of like the whole uh, community that Winona comes together with. Like, you can uh, be living like on one side of town, but you can walk three blocks and know someone, and then you can 
walk a different direction and know somewhere else, someone else and go somewhere else. And I just like that Winona's kind of just like one big family right. with um, regular families like ourselves and then bird families <laughs> and, um, and then just everything in between. And I love how everybody, I feel like everybody kind of gets welcomed into Winona. So it's kind of just one big awesome bowl of soup. <laughs> mm, I love soup. Mm -hmm. So do I. I personally have felt very welcomed into Winona as well. Mm. Cool. I just like how Winona is this, uh, small enough that um, people and, um, and birds can all like get together and just have like parties and have fun together. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's really great to see so many people with so many different talents exploring those talents in, in a small space where you can encounter people and you can watch people grow new skills and do incredible art. Yeah. You can see Shakespeare. You can end up catching bluegrass music. You can paddle. You can climb. You can do yoga. You can meditate. You can. There's virtually nothing you can't do yeah, inside exactly. of Winona. Yeah. There's so much to do all the time. Right. And great people to do it with, too. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a couple of reasons of, of why people might seek out Manitou as, as a place to go? Awesome birds. <laughs> I agree. I need to get more birds in here. Tea, great food. Just that sense of community, I think, ends up being a big piece. The people who are here as instructors have really devoted their lives to these practices. They're people who are, you know, have devoted themselves to really learning these skills and to sharing them with others. You get to come in as you are. You don't have to make any adjustments to end up coming in and fitting an expectation or, you know, we meet you where you're at and we continue growing forward in a community kind of setting. I love that. So, I know a lot of people must know about Manitou from the schools and all the programs that you do, but for the people who might not know anything about Manitou, is there anything you'd like to say to them? We would encourage you to come on down to check out any of our classes. You can visit our website um, and see what kind of classes and workshops and trainings we have either inside of Manitou or, or, or around town. Um, you could uh, connect with your workplace. We go into workplaces and work with people in their offices or depending upon what their workplace environment is like. So we could um, meet you at your workplace. Um, you know, it's, as I mentioned before, if there's something you're feeling that is weighing on you, stress or something that's troubling you or you're feeling concerned about something, I believe that the things that we offer at Manitou um, could be really great complementary ways to take care of your overall holistic health and well-being. And if you're just looking for great friends and community and um, a way to connect with people um, as you are taking care of yourself, I think that Manitou is a great space to come that would be welcoming for you, regardless of if this is brand new to you or if you have had years of experience in this type of um, mind, body, spirit, exploration and training. Wow, well, amazing. Yeah. All right, well, well, thank you all very much for having me today. It's been so fun to get to know you a little bit better and to learn more about Manitou and all that happens here. Yeah, no problem, Henry. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming by. Oh, my pleasure. All right, one, two, three. Winona, I love you! <laughs> ah, Zeus, so Zeus. Zeus does too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We play baseball as a way to train some of our kung fu techniques. Like if we're working on striking or we're working on elbows, what? we'll set up a little diamond either inside or outside and we'll play it just like baseball, but you'll have to do a certain technique and sometimes you can't even talk. So you have to be silent. So you're working on a little bit of mindfulness development as well as you end up sitting back and really paying attention to the environment you're in everybody around you. It's, it's a load of fun. fun. Wow. Yeah.